systems of care part of the agency is where we provide clinicians, respite workers, and therapists for families that are at risk of going through difficult situations with their foster children that they have adopted or that is part of their family. I mentor children from the ages of 2 to 19. Um, it's respite is to give some time off for the families to do groceries, to do uh, doctor's appointments for themselves, just have time away um, to get them to do whatever they cannot do when, when their foster kids are at home. Um, it's, a, it's, a, it's a little break during the week for them to work on themselves uh, while I take the kids out and work, I work on life skills. Working with these kids, doing different activities, going to the zoo, going, simply going, going to a museum, or taking them to IHOP to really teach them how to just order food and be respectful and be patient, it just makes me proud to know that I'm investing in the future, in the future of my society, where I will look back and say, I might have planted the seed of the next CEO of a major company, or another teacher, so they could give back. Um, he was actually, had just moved in from Joliet. His first week in Chicago, he got beat up twice, going to a class, going to a school two blocks away. And his desire was to make 18. So after working with six months of him, he did not know how to play basketball. Um, we went over, at the library, we went over the, the, the rules and regulations of the game. Um, he tried out. He made it, but there was still something missing. And what I came to realize is that he didn't know how to associate with other people. So over the summer, uh, working, I had the opportunity of working with him over the summer, I used to just take my baseball bat, take my balls, and just go to a random park and allow other kids to play with us. And at first, he would play 15, 20 minutes with other, other people. Then he would, he would say library, which is our code word, saying it's getting a little bit too much for him. So then we would go back. Then three weeks later, we actually played for five hours. And, and then we got home and he immediately told his grandmother, I'm ready, I'm ready to go to, to camp. Then September came around. I, I took him to every tryout. He made the team. Not only did he make the team, but he became also the co-captain. And not only that, he also was part of the program uh, at his school to recruit new players. So the last day that we saw each other, he left me a note and he told me, these are the people that I encourage to play basketball like you encouraged me. I would describe Jewish Child and Family Services as the bridge. I think it's a bridge to go from point A to point Z. Um, I think it is an opportunity for a lot of families to find peace and to find that people are advocating for them.